So you're out riding your bike in the neighborhood, and there, coming toward you, is a lady and her dog you've never seen before. You love dogs, so you jump off your bike, because you're going to go meet that dog. Doggy! Hi, doggy! Doggy, 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 doggy! Well, this is the way it looks to the dog. Yikes! See why that's all wrong? Back up there, kiddo. We're going to show you the safe and best way to greet a dog, especially one you don't know. First of all, never run up to a dog. Running toward a dog will make it want to run away from you. Or worse, run after you. Instead, walk slowly toward the dog, keep a distance, and ask the owner if you can pet the dog. Can I pet your doggy? The owner will either say, Yes, she's friendly. Or they might say, Maybe you better not. She's kind of afraid of people. Let's say the owner has given you permission to pet the dog. Great! Don't be jumping all around acting nervous or excited. The dog might start jumping too. On you. Instead, it's best to be calm. Next, let the dog sniff you. The dog may sniff your feet or your legs. And if you put out your hand, it will probably sniff your hand. Sniffing is how a dog gets to know you. To a dog, we humans are wonderfully stinky. And your deliciously stinky smell is pretty much how a dog tells you from everyone else. In fact, a dog's sense of smell is so strong that when you smell peanut butter cookies baking in the oven, your dog smells all the ingredients. Flour, sugar, milk, eggs, peanut butter. A dog's sense of smell is its superpower. And speaking of cookies, make sure you don't have anything to eat in your hand when you pet a dog. Most dogs will think you're offering the food to them, and they will gladly take it. So, you've gotten permission from the owner to pet the dog. Now it's time to see if you have permission from the dog. If the dog hides behind the owner, leave the dog alone. Or if the dog pulls away from you, leave the dog alone. And if the dog snarls or shows its teeth, definitely leave the dog alone. Finally, it's time to pet the dog. But wait, before you reach out your hand, let's see what the dog sees. Hmm, not the best place to start, is it? Instead, the first place you want to pet a dog is on its back or its shoulders. It takes most dogs a little time to trust a stranger. So a nice, gentle pet is something they will most likely welcome. As you get to know the dog, they will probably let you pet them on the head. That's because you've earned their trust. So, the next time you want to meet a dog, do it the safe way, because that is the best way.